Okay, so we have three types of lines. Most of this will feel like a review after our activity of the last day and a half. We have parallel lines, perpendicular lines, and we have lines that are neither when you get two on a graph at the same time. We're going to start with parallel. Uh, for a description of their appearance, they never cross. Try to do your best version of parallel lines. What is true about parallel line slope? It's the same. And what is true about parallel lines y-intercepts? They are different. Okay, so for perpendicular, let's open that flap. Perpendicular lines, notice I always put arrows on my lines. We're trying to show that they go on and on. Perpendicular lines meet with a 90 degree angle. And if it forms one 90 degree angle, it's gonna form four. It always has to if it's perpendicular. So the description in words is they cross to form 90 degree angles at their intercept. And I'm not using that word intercept as like X or Y intercept, but where the two lines intercept, wherever that is on the graph, it's where they cross. I saw you guys, there was a slope of three and you were creating um, equations in Desmos that showed a reciprocal um, not reciprocal, sorry. That's the word we're gonna to get to. You needed to write an equation that would form a perpendicular line to a, a line that had a slope of three. And I saw when it was a slope of three, you guys were putting in negative one over three. That's gonna be a slope that's gonna cause our lines to be perpendicular to each other. And we call that an opposite reciprocal. Whenever we have perpendicular, if we have a positive line, the other line is going to be negative. And it has to be negative in such a way that it's going to cross at that 90 degrees. If it was a positive slope, it's going to be a negative slope. If it was 3 over 2, the reciprocal is going to be negative 2 over 3. Opposite reciprocal is what's always going to get us a perpendicular slope. The y-intercept is anything. There's nothing about writing these equations where we have to make sure that it's crossing the y-intercept at any particular point. Mm -hmm. Okay, like so I had a question that if the M, if the slope is 2 over 3, the opposite reciprocal would be negative 3 over 2. Oh, okay. The opposite means if it's negative, you're making it positive. If it's positive, you're making it negative. The reciprocal is you're flipping that slope. This one is 1 over 3 because this was 3 over an invisible one. Does that clarify? Yes. Okay. So what happens when we have lines on a graph that are neither parallel or perpendicular? We're going to make this cross so that we have obtuse and acute angles. This is acute, 
This is obtuse. Two of these angles would, would be acute and two would be obtuse. None of them are 90 degrees. So in words, we would say that this crosses, they cross each other at non-90 degree angles. And what's true about the slope and y-intercept? Nothing really. It's just kind of, these are like random lines that just end up on a graph and don't really have any specific parallel or perpendicular relationship to each other. So we don't have slopes that are the same. They're not the same because if they were the same, we'd have parallel lines. And the slope is also not the opposite reciprocal. If it was opposite reciprocal, we would have perpendicular lines. And the y-intercept is any. So now I've got six sets of equations, I'm sorry, eight sets of equations, and eight graphs. And I'm gonna do the first one with you, and then you guys are gonna work on the rest. When you're finished with this, we will be gluing into our notebooks. <clears throat> the yellow paper could get glued in as soon as I finish with this example, if you'd like. And here's how I want them glued in. They should be facing each other on your next two blank pages. Don't glue yet because we're going to be writing on this. I just want to make it clear where they're going. Okay. So for first example here, first thing we want to do, because what, which equation do we find is the easiest to graph with? Slope intercept form. When it's in the form of y equals mx plus b, it is the easiest way for us to graph. So the first thing you want to do is look at these. Are these two in slope intercept form? What do you notice about their slopes? So what do you predict is going to happen when we graph these? Okay, let's see. We're going to start with plus 4. And that's my first point because it's my y-intercept. My slope is 3 over 1, so I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Is that going to give me a positive line? Yes. Am I sloping to the right here? Yes. And do I want it to be positive? Yeah, yeah because this 3 is positive. I'm going to use my cutoff as my straight edge. You want to draw your line as far as you can on your graph and put arrows on both sides. Where are we going to start graphing the second line? At positive 7 on the y-intercept. This was 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're going to do the same thing with the slope. We're going to find rise is 3, run is 1. When I'm graphing parallel, I often try to do 3 points because I just want my lines to be nice and straight. I could also go down 3 and over 1. Oops, and my pen went off. Pretty close though. So the question is, are these parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Parallel. We're going to put here that they are parallel. I don't want to do all of number two with you, but there's one equation that's in slope-intercept form. Could you start to graph this first one right away? Yeah, where's the y-intercept going to be? One. And is it going to be a positive or negative slope? Negative. What about this one? We don't know yet because it's not in slope-intercept form. What's with the y right now? Four. And we want to get the y by itself. How do I do that? Minus. Divide every part of this equation by 4. 
and I get y is equal to, what's my slope, you guys? One over four x plus three over four. Well, what do I do with a y-intercept that's a fraction? Where would three-fourths be on the y-intercept? Here's zero, here's one, where's three-fourths gonna be? Just below the one. This is kind of a small graph here, so you just need to estimate as best as you can where three-fourths is between zero and one. So it would be about here. That means when you do your slope and you rise up one, you're not rising all the way to two, you're gonna go to about here, and then you can run across four. So this is the graph for the second equation. Oops. This is not a great straight edge, soft paper. So this is a graph for y equals 1 4 x plus 3 4 You're going to graph the other one, which has negative 4 as its slope. What kind of lines do you think you're going to get? Negative 4, positive 1 4 are, are those the same? Negative 4 over 1, positive 1 over 4. We should be getting perpendicular. Okay, I'm going to let you guys practice. Check with me as needed. <laughs> 